Hey, this is Chris from Essential SQL, and if you're interested in comparing two moving averages using SQL, then you're going to want to watch this video. Hey, if you like our videos, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Okay, let's get right to it. Before we get too far on, I think it's important to understand just really what a moving average is. And so I want to copy a moving average in here to our little Postgres window where we have running here and show you a moving average. So you can see here we did a moving average over a window. We're ordering it by our stock symbol and the trade date. So as the date progresses, we're going to do the moving average. And we're doing it in a window from the current row to six rows above. So that's really seven stock prices. Okay. And as you can see, the way it starts here, the first row only does a moving average of the first row. Okay. And then the second row is doing a moving average of the um, first and second row. So basically, you know, the window is extending up past the front of the data set and it's just ignoring that. And it's taking whatever rows it has to do the moving average. In our case, this isn't necessarily what we need. It's not accurate. So I want to put null values or nulls in where we don't have enough data to calculate the moving average. So I'm going to do that now by using a window statement. So I'm going to essentially replicate our partition several times throughout our statement here and this becomes a nice shortcut so here I create a window statement called WFAST and this is just that partition where we're saying use the stock symbol and the trade date and the rows between on um, the six preceding in the current row so it's, that's our moving average window but now what I want to do is I want to be able to do a count of that window and that count's going to tell me literally how many rows are actually in the window. Because remember, in the beginning, there's only one row, then two row, and it builds up to three, four, five, six, seven, and so on. And then at seven, it stays at seven. I only want a moving average if I have more than six rows, or what I'm really saying, seven rows. So what we do is if we have more than seven rows, yay, calculate the moving average. Otherwise, in this case statement, I want to know from a moving average. So let's see how this plays out. And there you go, I have a null. Now this is also works in Microsoft SQL Server. The caveat is, is that in some of the older versions, you can't use the window clause. It's only I think in some of the newer versions like 2019 and so. So you'll have to use the partition by statement repeatedly for the count and the average. The nice thing about window is you know you can just specify it once and you're done so that's that's one little trick that you'll have to work around but with um, Postgres uh, I'm using the latest version I have an issue with that okay so this is the moving average for six periods as you can imagine it's not hard to do it for more so if I wanted to do like a slow moving average what I could do here is and I just copy one in because I got it set up already and I'll just show you the comparison here so here is the one with the single right and then if I want to add another well it's just a matter of adding another case statement for my slow moving average which takes a 14 day window why do I call it slow because it won't move as quickly to the trends because it has more data in the window in the window right and so he, here you can see I got a, a fast window and a slow window okay so let's do a computation here and now you can see where we're getting our data and we have the fast window and then I have all the you know rows for the slow window and now I can start doing some comparisons and I can see just how this thing is actually is is moving as well as is the fast trend um, above or below the slow trend and how we can do that then is by doing another uh, query so let me bring this one in that does the final calculation for you and here we have essentially a comparison that we're going to take the fast and slow moving averages and if the fast is greater than the slow, we're going to say that it's the trend is up. And then if the fast line is below the slow line, we're going to say it's trending down. Okay. And as you can see here, I have this as a drive table. 
so I'm pulling in this drive table the trade date, the closing date, and the average moving average fast and slow. And then on the outside of this drive table, I'm able to work with the moving average fast or slow result, do some compares, and really get some analytics going in terms of like how this data is trending. So here you can see where I now can tell whether um, I'm trending up or down on the stock. So here the fast is above the slow line, so it's trending more quickly, which is great. And this is what you want, is you want an uptrend. So hopefully now you can see how to use moving averages for um, an SQL. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comments, and I'd be more than happy to answer them for you.